Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I'm in my grandma's garage. Now, she's got these nice big wooden cabinets, and my friend and I have kind of talked about it, and we decided these cabinets would be perfect for an APRS eye gate, which is what we put in here. So this is the KE0WPC-15 eye gate here in Brookings. Now in Brookings, there's a few eye gates and digipeters, but they're in kind of odd states of affair. There's one of the police station, which just kind of died, and we're not really able to do anything about it right now. And there's also one off in Volga, which uh, suffers from going off air every once in a while. And there's, of course, the KE0WPC-10 eye gate, which is way off in no man's land and not very near Brookings. So we decided that we should stick one here towards the center of town. And we would do a lot of stuff in the barn, uh, but the barn is kind of falling apart and there's wasps up there and there's cats that poop up there and it's a mess. But the garage here is actually quite nice and it's got these big wooden cabinets. So anyway, what happens is uh, this sits on the APRS frequency and uh, APRS devices like handhelds and things like that, mobile setups, weather stations, they will send out digital packets that this thing will receive and they'll send location data like coordinates and they'll send weather data and things like that. And the output, audio wise, goes out of here and into the line in of this Dell Optiplex. And on the computer, we're running some software on Linux called uh, Direwolf, which listens in on the audio and reports the packets. So this is a terminal that's running Direwolf and it usually things fly down here as they get reported. If I scroll up, we could go look at some other stuff. Uh, this is all just stuff that gets reported in. Uh, like here's some uh, location data from we were testing yesterday. Brookings isn't terribly busy. So we haven't been getting a whole, whole lot here, but stuff has kind of come in. Now besides the equipment itself, I've also installed some other things. For example, this outlet, which has got a lot of stuff plugged into it. I had to run some more Romex off of this outlet over here so we could power things. Also, uh, there's no internet in the garage. So we got an antenna mounted on the other antenna that beams the Wi-Fi at my house. It turns it into this gray ethernet connection and the doohickey on the other antenna is powered by power over ethernet, so this is a PoE injector. And over here we have uh, the two lines, and they run along here and eventually poke their way out to the outside of the building. And this is what it looks like out here. See, the main thing right there is a vertical two meter antenna, and that's for receiving everything on the APRS frequency. And the little box hanging off the bottom there is the device that connects to my Wi-Fi. It's some sort of TP link. So here I am on APRS.5, which is where all the packets and information actually gets reported and displayed. And this is the Brookings area. Here we have the KE0WPC-15, which is towards the northwest, but generally center part of the old town. Uh, there's some Atad stuff. He's got a million things on APRS. This is uh, the Volga. APRS stuff, and up here we have the KE0WPC-10 eye gate. Well anyway, yesterday he and I went around in the truck to do some range testing, and this is what we found. So we started at around my house, which by the way this is a little off, the uh, marker should be up here. And we drove down this way, and eventually once we got to the south end of town the packets started having trouble getting through. When we got down here to this overpass, it was a high enough elevation that it managed to get in. We continued down some of these gravel roads. Eventually, once we got over here, which is getting pretty close in line, uh, a few packets did make it through. This packet right here actually beamed to the uh, Volga repeater, so that didn't do any good for testing. And eventually, we came back. Anyway, that's going to be it for this kind of short video, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.